Silverback head coach Sean Lutz, a 59-28 homecoming win over Edinburgh. Scored 45 points in the first half, cruised in the second half. Offense was dominant all day. Overall thoughts? What are you going to say? You can't argue that. I mean, it, you know, my record wasn't very good homecomings, 0-2, and, and we did everything we wanted to. Really give credit to the offense. We were a well-oiled machine, and they did what they wanted to. It started with Roland and, you know, Wes and everybody. I mean, the offense line did a great job. Defensively, we've been very strong this year defensively, but, uh, you know, we gave up too many big plays. So we're going to get that corrected. We still did some good things on defense, but anytime you win the way we did against a quality opponent like Edinburgh, you're going to be pretty happy. And uh, let's just break down the offense a little bit here. You had 450 yards and 45 points at halftime. Finished just shy of 600 yards. You scored on eight of your first nine offensive possessions. Couldn't really be stopped early on in the game. And then uh, looking at the numbers, just some video game numbers for some of your guys today. Just talk about the offense. And, and I mean, Roland Rivers now five games in. Is he becoming one of the best quarterbacks at this level? You know what, you say that, and I can't disagree with you. I mean, what does he not do good? I mean, right now he is, he has the game experience, and he doesn't panic. He stays back there. He had a lot of time today. I thought the offensive did a nice job, but, boy, he, he finds the way. He can escape. He can run. He can throw it. I mean, he counted six touchdowns. I see this right here. 485 yeah. yards. Yeah. I mean, I mean, amazing. I mean, what are you going to say? He might, he has got to be in consideration right now as one of the hottest quarterbacks in Division II. And that conversation is being one of the best right now. And I mean, he was outstanding. And then Jermaine Wynn. You really got a chance to see Jermaine go. Like, I knew he was capable of. You know, he had three touchdowns. And, he, you know, he just finds a way. He's, he's smooth. He's elusive. He catches the ball well. It's just at that receiver position, you find out if it's not Jermaine, it was Henry Litwin or Carnell Harley or Austin Scott. And, I, I, you know, the biggest thing I like is the running, the running, uh, the rushing. You know, the way we rushed the football, too, did a good job with that. So it was, yeah, I didn't, we couldn't be stopped today. It was a great thing to see. And with the ground game there, West Hills now fully healthy again after missing three games there early on in the season. How hard are you guys to defend as an offense with as many playmakers as you've got? You've got guys touching the football all over the field. There's 10, 12 guys every game putting up yardage. Now that you got West back there, you got West and Roland in the, in the running game back there, how hard are you guys to defend? It's tough. It's tough. Good luck. You know, do the best you can with that. Uh, it, it, it's tough. Uh, you know, we're, we're, I don't know. I don't know. You, and those guys are big guys back there. You know, it's not like, you know, Wes is, uh, you know, a small guy or anything like that, but uh, they're big guys. Roland's big, and it's just a, it's two head monster back there. It's, it's interesting how someone's going to defend us. And, you know, we, I just want to continue to keep getting better. Wes is finally getting the rust off. You know, I feel like he's really picking up his feet. He extended some of those runs, and he's doing a nice job with that. And defensively, you mentioned you gave up a couple big plays today. It really that accounted for almost all the scoring for Edinburgh in the game. A couple 75-yard long touchdown, 57-yard run the first play of the game, and uh, a couple defensive breakdown there. But the defense really responded there in the second half and uh, really played a pretty good, pretty clean second half there. Talk about the defensive effort after kind of giving up a few big plays early. Yeah, we don't like that. We've been doing a good job not, you know, just creating turnovers and and uh, and stopping the run. Boy, that killed us that long rush rate. Was it the uh, the second play of the game where he he rushed for 56 yards and you know they got playmakers. Walter Fletcher is a heck of a running back. He's really good. Tanaj Gregory is a guy that's hurt us in the past. So they got playmakers. But the key was we we hunkered down when we needed to. We did some good things but we can't give up that many big plays. But uh, we had some guys getting after it, playing. Eric Glover, I thought, had a great game. Brad Zapper, I thought, was very physical out there. And uh, hopefully they get some guys back next week and can continue to just go forward. And uh, moving ahead now, you stay unbeaten in the PSAC West. A lot of uh, a lot of questions coming to this game as to whether or not you were going to be able to handle the, you know, the trap game environment, that kind of thing, after a big win on the road at IUP last weekend. Where's the mentality of this team right now, undefeated first place in the PSAC West? I'll be honest with you, a lot of these guys on our team right now, they don't remember two years ago because we did lose the Clarion two years ago at their place. They don't really care who we play. They know what their goal is, is to win a championship and play in a PSAC championship game. And they, who's ever in our way, they don't like them that week. Clarion's going to be in our way, so we're going to do everything we can to have a good week of preparation and, 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 and have a great performance against Clarion on Saturday of next week. Well, hey, first career homecoming win today, Coach. Congratulations. Thanks. I appreciate it. Go Rock.